day. I'm Prince Andrew. This is lovely. In honour of my getting myself back into the swing of things, the producers of Spitting Image have sent me this gift. OK, sit down, it says. Take off the lid, it says. And put your face right down into the... <laughs> hey, everybody. Thanks for coming out to my rally. You're beautiful. I love you. We're going to have fun. Melania is here, Ivanka, and that dynamo of energy and excitement, Jared Kushner. J-Man, show us those dance moves. Give me a Y. M. C. Easy. Don't drive the crowd crazy. And my biggest fan, he's at every Trump rally, Caroni. Yeah, catch me if you can. Vote for me. I'm the funnest president since Lincoln. It's All Hallows' Eve, Spookius Maximus, uh, the perfect night for a seance to summon the ghost of Winston Churchill. He'll tell us how to get out of this quagmire we've governed ourselves into. The witch's brew is almost ready. In goes Eye of Puppy, Other Eye of Puppy, Rest of Puppy. All right, join hands. Oh, mightiest Tory leader, Torius Imperator, uh, come unto us and impart your wisdom because we haven't got a bastard clue. Never surrender. Darkest hour. No, no, no! You turn if you want to! OMG, it's Margaret Thatcher, my hero! <gasps> I'm quivering in fear. Right. I'm just tucking my shirt into my trousers. Why have you summoned me, you sniveling weaklings? We're having some trouble with the North. Abolish it! Maybe we can suggest that to the mayors during the next round of negotiations. You're negotiating with Northerners? Oh, you cretinous wets! This is so hot. If I had a pulse, it would be racing. I want to kiss her, him, it. <laughs> Lips so sausagey. What should we do about hungry school kids? Take away their milk! Snatch it! We've already taken away their meals. Never take everything away. Make them feel grateful for what little they get. OK. About the EU, now that we've left it... Th you left it? My God! What are you going to do next? Catch immigrants with nets? Um... I was the Iron Lady, not the stupid twat. That does it. I'm coming back, taking over and reshuffling you all into hell. <laughs> How do we get rid of her? It says here our only option is an immediate blood sacrifice. Hancock. And it should be a virgin. Hancock. <laughs> I get a sticker for being brave. <laughs> oh, another bloody U-turn. <laughs> what happened? Uh, what did Winston say? He said to kill Hancock. Ah, now that's leadership. Punt. Mike, a lot of people are saying voter fraud is a big, big problem. Mainly stupid people. Mainly Republicans, exactly. I want an election that is free and fair. So I'm going to personally check all the mail-in ballots. And destroy the fraudulent ones? Yes, the fraudulent ones that voted for Democrats. That's definitely one of your best and only ideas. But the post office will never let us tamper with the mail. Not a problem. I just appointed a new postmaster general. Send in a kid! Jared, put her there. Great to see you, Jared. So, Mr. Postmaster, you mind if I borrow your keys? He didn't say no, and even if he did, that's also a yes. Okay, let's go steal some mail. But what if someone sees us? Don't worry. I bought some Halloween masks as a disguise. Gangs of hoodlums, people petrified in their own homes, 
The country's falling apart, Anarin. If only I was in a position to do something. You are the leader of the Labour Party. Exactly. Powerless. I have no choice. I shall become a masked hero, a bringer of vigilante justice. But what dark creature of the night shall I choose as my symbol? <laughs> That's it. The fox. The garbage-eating pest that strikes fear into the heart of every Tory. I'd better check with the NEC that foxes are kosher. Any crooked ballots? None yet, but we've only checked the first 20 million. Aha! Found something! Voter fraud? No, a birthday card some old bat sent to her six-year-old grandson. 20 bucks! Pay dirt. Here's an anomaly, sir. The signature on this ballot doesn't match the printed name. Out of my way. Let me see that. Hmm, that fish hooky symbol doesn't match the flaggy looking thing. That's a letter J and a letter P. So they're using letters to represent words? Must be a secret code. It's English. Send this to the FBI crime lab and find out who mailed it. No one steals an election from me, you got that? I'm president. I do the stealing. Jew, old chum. Buddy, uh, the whole thing with me and Trump, just a phase. Uh, my real special relationship has always been with you, uh, ever since I saw the latest polls. I appreciate that, man. Hey, love the accent. Where are you from? Pittsburgh? Uh, listen, I'd love to talk about trade. Well, what you got? Comic books? Baseball cards? Uh, no, but we got one thing America can't live without. It's me, babes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mental, innit? <laughs> Wait, are you Borat? It's Prosecco o'clock. Woohoo! Give me the purse or I'll kick out your Invisaligns. Piss off! <gasps> this party is over. I am Foxman and I'm here to clean up these streets. Most vigilante, eh? I'm not afraid of you. Nor should you be. I'm here to find a pragmatic solution which brings all sides together around a shared outcome. A shared outcome? It's trying to kill me! I understand the strength of feeling on this issue, which is why I'm proposing a royal commission. It's time to skin the fox! <gasps> Do you have a super weapon? No, it's something far more powerful. The Crime and Courts Act 2013. It gives judges at Crown, District and Magistrate level the power to defer uh, sentencing in lieu of restorative justice. He's asleep. Uh, You're a genius, Badger lad. Uh, it's Foxman. Yeah, uh, whatever. My fellow Americans, it is my sad duty to report some very disturbing voter fraud. This ballot was illegally cast by a foreigner seeking to interfere in our elections. The FBI has obtained security videotape of this foreign individual, which I will now play. Whatever you say, Mr. Trump. I, uh, think that's the wrong video, Mr. President. Don't stop it. This is the good part. No. Now what do we watch, genius? Actually, we caught the foreigner in question last night in California. Bring him in! Prince Harry, <laughs> you're the illegal foreign voter? I just wanted to be part of the process. I feel so grateful to live in America, where everyone gets to vote, instead of being lorded over by a wank like my brother. They do vote in England, too. Really? I'm gobsmacked. I guess I missed that in school. Hey, according to this, he voted for you, Donald. What? Your name was first on the list. I thought that's how it worked. We can't throw out that ballot, sir. We need every vote. No problem. Harry? I hereby declare you a U.S. citizen. If you can answer this one simple question, how many states are there in the Union? Fifty. Wrong. Damn it. Jared, send this loser back home. To England? No, California. I want you to suffer. Oh, no. Safely back in the foxhole. The future looks bright for Foxman. And I, Aniron, your faithful butler, will be right there with you. Only if approved by the butler union, pursuant to overtime limits under the working time directive. What can you tell us about this mysterious vigilante? Oh, well, he was wearing a dead badger or something. It smelled of rotting flesh. <laughs> what a shame. 
Foxman is just another pervert with a dead animal fetish. More media smears. Oh god, am I turning into Corbin? Daddy, why did Christmas come early this year? Because there's a magic man who wants everybody to love him. And is he truly handsome? And does he wear a lovely blue suit? Yes, darling. He's Rishi Sunak, and he lives at the Treasury. So he gives the best gift of all, money. And if anyone ever says he isn't real, tell him this. You better not cry, you better not moan. He's got virus crowns and emergency loans. Rishi Sunak's helping us all. I've got a nice smile and dark shiny hair. I throw around cash so you know that I care. Rishi Sunak's helping us all. He knows your job is threatened. Your bills keep you away. But Rishi's borrowed billions and some cash for goodness sake. I crossed all the T's, I dotted the I's, I wasted it all on shit how to survive. Rishi Sunak's helping us all. He helped to bail the arts out, though he left it rather light. I said delay your tax bill, I'll go broke at a later date. That's coming will last 80 years Cause Rishi Sunak helping us all You won't have a time You'll be left with a nothing Give me that, give me that Now do you believe Here's your present, little girl Something expensive that will last for years and years You mean? Yes, it's the tax bill for all of this Good luck, bye <laughs> now look, uh, Marcus Rashford is hauling us over the coals about free school meals. The thing to do is meet with him face to face and lay out our thoughts and concerns in a calm, sensible manner. We get to the pies, the pizzas and the fries. Marcus Rashford, do good bastard, we get to the pies. <laughs> Hello, Elon. Planning another diatribe about how Amazon is a monopoly? Or just gonna go, wow, wow, short sellers? Your lame jabs cannot hurt me, Bezos. By November 3rd, I'll be on Mars. I'm leaving before the inevitable final catastrophe. What about your songbird wife, Grimes? She's at home, working on music to power our new civilization. Mars, Grimes on Mars, red I won't be taking her. Musketeer, how are they swinging? In unison, if you must know. Push off, Branson. We're discussing space travel. Nothing that concerns you. Virgin Galactic pioneered commercial space travel. A three-minute view from low Earth orbit for a mere quarter million dollars. We are trying to get to Mars. We? Hang on. Since when do you have a Mars program? I'm Amazon. I can order anything I want from me. Did I mention we offer snack service like space corn? Imagine gnawing it right off the cob in zero G. Then the race to Mars is on. You versus me. No, you versus me. And also me. Branson makes three. A toast to seal the wager. Gents. <laughs> oh, we chaps have fun. What is this thing? It has a pleasant snap. Like crushing an enemy's exoskeleton beneath one's talon. It's a poppadom. You must have been to a curry house before, Dominic. Of course. There are many curry houses on my home planet. I mean my hometown. Which is Epsilon 5. I mean Durham. Look, I'm making a move on Boris. And I want you on my team. Yes. He is weak and he won't let me eat his baby. Exactly. You see, we're a lot alike, you and I. I'm from a humble fishing village. You're an alien from Epsilon 5. 
<laughs> How did you know I'm an alien from Epsilon 5? I didn't. Until now. Very clever. We are alike. Zero empathy, a total lack of moral core. What dark and inhuman corner of the galaxy are you from? Scotland. Plausible. I am glad we are allies. Me too. Try the curry. Ah, it contains turmeric and deadly poison to my race. <laughs> I suspected as much. Sorry, old boy, but only one can rule, you know. Utterly despicable. So you are Scottish. Mr. Zuckerberg, we believe Facebook is being used by Russia to disseminate misinformation. I am shocked and surprised to hear such an allegation. Where did you say? Russia? With an R? Extremely divisive material is constantly blasted on your platform by what are called troll farms. This is the first time I've heard even a hint of such things, but I assure you that I will personally investigate this matter, although I very much doubt the existence of these pss, troll farms. <laughs> The Veston Inspector is here to make sure we are legitimate Facebook clients. Change screens now! I want to see kittens and puppies! Kittens and puppies! Mr. Zuckerberg, welcome! We are all biggest fans of your book of faces. That lines up with our data. We traced a lot of messages to this place, so I came to make sure everything is on the level. Now, who is Auntie Svetlana who loves knitting? It is I. Auntie, I love your knitting site, but could you maybe tone down the rampant racism? We'll try. Great. And which one of you is 14-year-old Timmy Johnson from Sioux Falls? Is also me. I hate to be skeptical, but it's my job. Aren't you kind of old and female to be a 14-year-old boy? Wow. And I thought we of America is celebrating gender and age fluidity. We of America? Da, these are all red-blooded apple beet pie lovers from the U.S. and also A. But what are you all doing out here in the Andrisky district of Chukotka Autonomous Okrug? He's good Wi-Fi. Well, I've done all that could possibly be expected to ensure the integrity of Facebook. And now, off to China to check out Alabama Joe's Spoon Bread Cotillion. You! That's right, Govey. But I thought I had... That you had safely dumped me in the kitchen trash. It turns out that rancid fry grease is the perfect antidote to turmeric. And it's good for the joints. You have made yourself a powerful enemy. Plus, you have to get the bill. No! In the wake of Brexit, we will no longer be asking you to maintain a distance of two metres. Instead, we shall use a more traditional British measurement, the furlong. So, from now on, please stay one one-hundredth of a furlong apart. Strong furlong, hopefully not forlong. How big's a furlong? Ah, yes, to help with that, we are bringing back another great British tradition, the rough. <laughs> Stay one rough apart, and you'll be fine. Rough, tough, hope to God, it's enough. The rockets are fueled up, and the countdown has begun for the Mars mission of Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and Richard Branson. The world reacts as three billionaires leave the planet, perhaps never to return. <laughs> Okay, mission control. All systems are go. Be safe, my dear. I know it's hard to leave, but here's the keepsake so you'll never forget me. Thank you, my dear. I'm no longer afraid of death. You're too late, Elon. As an Amazon Prime subscriber, I get expedited launches. Stupid algorithm, although I am out. Eat it, Bezos. After millions of man hours, I've developed an abbreviated countdown. 10, 9, 2, 3. Who did that? Fire that guy. Ignition, lift off. Lift off. I'm off. Alexa, make
Make me my lunch day lemonade. Too late, gentlemen. I'm already on my way with a tried and true solution. Branson, you dingbat! A balloon can't travel through space. Well, I can still go higher than my space plane. <laughs> huh? Basic. Only one solution. Atmosphere contamination detected. Engage filtration. Right. Go get it, Kitty. Heavy for some reason. Now, now, it's not that bad. There. You're done. <laughs> Careful! I'm pomacing my corns. It takes total concentration. What do you do with all those foot flakes? I sell to company that make White House snow globes. So proud of you. We're the world's greatest family. Everybody's saying it. Ready for bed, darling. Just gotta remove my makeup. All right, got my bed burger. Let's hit the sack. Mwah. So whatever happens to those billionaire idiots headed for Mars? Eh, you can go and watch part two of this episode online right now. I'm not going to pay good money to watch some stupid puppets. Although my puppet is the greatest and I love it. I'm going to send 200 misspelled tweets about how dumb that is. No, oh, can't someone else do it? But who? Who could really capture my style and swagger? Got it! Oh, no. Not that asshole. Now what is it doing? Jesus Christ. The asshole subscribed to Britbox! 